Because the US is the third largest country in size, it's home to a vast array of landscapes and a vast array of wildlife. No matter what ecosystem you choose to look at, you will often find a large predator. And in this video, I will be going through some of the largest predators in the US. Instead of just listing the largest predators of all the animals in the US, I will be splitting them up into groups. I will start off with the largest predatory freshwater amphibian, but after that I will move on to the largest predatory bird, mammal, freshwater fish, and reptile. As you might be able to imagine, this is a pretty hard video to title, but I have gone with five of the largest predators in the US from across the animal kingdom. As I said, first we will start off with the amphibians, and in the US there really is a lot to choose from. There are plenty of large aggressive frogs, as well as some very vibrant toxic salamanders. The largest predatory amphibian in the US is a salamander, but it's far from vibrant. To find it, we will be heading to the eastern US, and we will be heading into some rocky rivers, as we have the Hellbender. The Hellbender is a giant salamander endemic to the eastern and central United States, and it is also the largest salamander in North America. It is the only extant member of its genus, but it is closely related to the giant salamanders of Asia, and these Asian salamanders are the only salamanders that are larger than the Hellbender. The first thing you might notice about the Hellbender is it's not the prettiest amphibian. It does sometimes appear to have a cute smile, but for the most part it just looks like a large flat rock. This appearance is of course perfect camouflage for its natural habitat, as it's mostly found in clear, fast-moving streams. A single hellbender will usually defend an area around 300 square meters, and this territory is usually centered around its favorite rock. The hellbender is a highly adapted ambush predator, and its prey often doesn't notice the hellbender until it's too late. The majority of their diet is made up of crayfish, although in some cases they will also feed on small fish. Unfortunately today, this large amphibian is in trouble. They're currently listed as near threatened, but they are facing many threats in the wild. One of their main threats is siltation, as whenever a forest is torn down or there's construction on a river, huge amounts of soil and debris are washed downstream, and eventually they're washed into the hellbender's habitat. This silt and debris buries their tunnels, and also suffocates their eggs. Because hellbenders also breathe through their skin, they are also affected by pollution, and all this has led to massive declines in their numbers. Hopefully more can be done to save these salamanders as they are true giants, with a maximum length of around 75 centimeters and a max weight of around 2.5 kilograms. To put that into perspective, that's around the same weight as an Indian fox, and although this may not seem impressive at first, it is very impressive for an amphibian. But for our next large predator, we will be looking to the skies, as I will be focusing on some of the largest predatory birds in the US. In one of my recent videos, I went over some of the largest birds that can be found in the US, and in this video I featured three predatory birds, the bald eagle, the short-tailed albatross, and the American white pelican. Because I featured them so recently, I won't feature them in this video, and I will also be excluding large meat-eating birds that are mostly scavengers. That's why today I've chosen to go with the golden eagle, which is a giant magnificent bird in its own right. Of course this bird is not unique to the US, and it's actually the most widely distributed species of eagle. It can be found across the northern hemisphere, and in this range it's known for feeding on a vast array of prey animals. There are many different subspecies of golden eagle, and surprisingly the ones in North America are slightly smaller than the ones in Asia. Their hunting successes vary across their range, but the golden eagles in Idaho were found to have a success success rate of around 20%. At first this may not seem too impressive, but golden eagles are known to go after some dangerous, hard to catch prey. They'll target the usual foods for a bird of prey such as rabbits, ground squirrels and prairie dogs, but they'll also go after large birds such as geese and cranes, and in some cases will even target seals, ungulates and coyotes. It really is shocking to see an eagle go after such large prey, but it's just a reminder as to how powerful these birds can be. But this large diet means that they can reach some pretty impressive sizes, as they have a maximum wingspan of around 2.4 meters, and can reach a weight of around 6.5 kilograms. That's around the same weight as a bush dog, and makes them one of the largest, mostly predatory birds in the US. But for our next inclusion, we will be looking to the mammals, and of course once again there are plenty to choose from. There were once many larger predators that called the US home, but unfortunately they have not made it to the present day. Although the short-faced bears are no longer with us today, the bears that can be found in the US today are the largest mammalian predators in the US. One of the largest bears in the US is the brown bear, and the largest subspecies of brown bear is known as the Kodiak bear. These predators are of course very large and dangerous, but there is one other bear that's slightly larger than the Kodiak bear. Although there are some people that might be surprised that there are polar bears in the US, these people are probably forgetting about the state of Alaska. Alaska is the wildest of the states, and is home to the largest forest in the US, and also over 3 million lakes. Polar bears are most often seen in Alaska in the winter, and are being found as far south as St. Lawrence Island. 
Polar bears are of course closely related to brown bears, and it's thought that polar bears first diverged from a population of brown bears that became isolated during a period of glaciation in the Pleistocene. This was thought to have happened around 400,000 years ago, and since then they have adapted to a much colder climate. They are impressive opportunistic feeders, and can overpower the majority of animals on this planet. They are one of the few predators that directly see us as a food source, and this of course makes them extremely dangerous. Because they are so closely related to brown bears, as I've covered many times before, they are known to hybridise with brown bears, and are either known as pizzly bears or growler bears. Despite being very powerful creatures and also great swimmers, polar bears have a success rate of less than 2%. This is often because they go after very large prey, or because their prey quickly escapes into the water. Luckily for these bears, if they are bad hunters, they can always scavenge, as you will often find many polar bears at a carcass. Their very meaty diet helps them reach impressive sizes, because on their hind legs they can measure almost 3 meters tall, and the largest specimens can weigh 770 kilograms. This is around the same weight as a European bison, and makes them the largest mammalian predator in the US. But for our next creature, once again we will be heading into the freshwaters of the US, as I will be focusing on the freshwater fish. America is home to a vast array of predatory fish, but not all of them are giants. There are of course many bass and trout, but one of the most memorable species is the alligator gar. Despite its appearance, this fish is usually not a threat to humans, and is most happy feeding on other aquatic creatures. Although the alligator gar is a giant, it's not the largest freshwater fish in the US, as that title goes to another prehistoric fish. Sturgeons have existed mostly unchanged for around 200 million years, and they still remain some of the most mysterious creatures on this planet. Although they're usually giants, they are rarely seen, as they prefer to spend most of their life on large riverbeds. Famously, sturgeon are also farmed, as their eggs are often used to create caviar. The demand in caviar along with overfishing has led to a decrease in their numbers worldwide, and damming also doesn't help their situation. The largest sturgeon in the US is the white sturgeon, and even though this fish can enter salt water, Luckily for this sturgeon, it can live out its entire life cycle in freshwater. They spend the majority of their life feeding on the riverbed, and often go after worms and crustaceans, and sometimes other fish. Giants are becoming more rare nowadays, but the largest white sturgeon on record measured 6.1 meters long. This fish had a weight of 820 kilos, which is around the same weight as two female moose. Its size of course makes them true giants, and also the largest predatory freshwater fish in the US. For our final inclusion on this list, we will be looking to the reptiles, and although there are some large impressive predatory turtles, we will of course be looking at the crocodilians. Although there is one very famous crocodilian that can be found in the southeastern United States, today I will be focusing on the American crocodile. The American crocodile can only be found over a very small part of the US, and the American crocodile shares this area with the American alligator. In Florida, on average, the American alligator is larger than the American crocodile, but in other parts of North America, the American crocodile can reach a massive 6.1 meters, which completely dwarfs the American alligator. The American crocodile is the most widespread of the four extant species of crocodiles in the Americas, and it is one of the largest crocodiles in the world. They are apex predators and can feed on pretty much anything they wish to. They'll hunt anything from livestock to turtles, and they're even known to feed on other large predators such as lemon sharks. As I've already covered they can reach a pretty impressive length, and they max out in weight at around 900 kilograms. This is around the same weight as three mountain zebras, and although the population in Florida isn't the largest, the American crocodile is technically the largest predatory reptile that can be found in the US. If you think any creatures should have been picked instead of these, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.